And uh, there you guys have it. Freo winning 71 uh, points to 47. Freo 9. Goals 17 behinds. West Coast Eagles 7. Goals 5 behinds. Um, first and foremost, just to summate the game. It was a very rocks and diamonds game. Uh, obviously, a game that will be Monday's last ever regular home and away season game uh, for Fremantle. Um, I guess first and foremost, before I sort of carry on, I want to acknowledge um, the greatness that is uh, David Mundy and all he's done for Fremantle. Um, even though I wasn't following Fremantle at the time, when David Mundy played uh, in his debut season, I was 12 years old. Um, just to sort of uh, give you guys a, a bit of a grasp on the longevity of this man's career. But obviously as well, getting drafted in 2013. Um, what he's done for Fremantle cannot be understated. Um, he will be missed. And just his contributions even today are for mine. Um, just reminds you of just how great he is as a player. And how much he'll be missed. And the experience again the, that he has that you just can't buy. You, you can't buy experience. And uh, we're going to miss him. But I'm th I think he's he's done well training some of the young, young, uh, young up and, and, and up and coming players. Which is good to see. But I mean overall again. We'll miss him, but it's always good to get that win. Now, with the game. Um, scrappy, as I said, rocks and diamonds. First quarter, um, a bit of an arm wrestle. And, and I think three of fans came in here. And I know I did. We came near wanting to win big. We did. But the Eagles had other plans. The umpires as well. Should I touch them? I might. I might. Um, look, <laughs> um, I think for mine, the umpire made some really silly calls. Eagles were quite physical, literally physical, and I think some. I, I think we needed to do the same. You know, I'll tell you guys. I'll be honest. I can't stand the Eagles. They eh? like actually can't stand them, and uh, the fact that we got the win over them was good. Um, I make. I have no remorse, and I show no remorse with my feelings about the Eagles. Um, I could care less, and uh, I'm happy for a one. All right, so be it. But uh, ultimately, like I said, it's 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 a game where we could have done better. To be fair, with you guys, and I touched on it before. Um, first quarter was alright, second quarter okay, uh, but the inaccuracies as well at goal were, oh, it was frustrating, it really was. Um, I feel like there were times when Freer could have, had they been a bit more patient, especially going inside our own 50, we could have actually got a few more goals actually, but instead we, we rushed them, we tried to do, uh, I guess, way off things, Tucker at one stage, Sarong at another, um, Walters at stages two, I think even. Logue had a crack and missed. Um, you know, I think some of the boys were just a bit too uh, goal feverish, I think, as opposed to uh, perhaps taking their time. But I guess it is what it is, right? In a derby, the, the blood is, is excelling. The heart rate is pumping. The blood is flowing. And you just want to, obviously, win. And, and win well, or at least win, at least. All right. Another amazing fact about this win as well is that this is the first time the three metal Dockers have actually beaten the Eagles or swept them in a AFL regular season since 2013 so in other words it's the first time Fremantle beaten the West Coast Eagles twice in one AFL calendar season since 2013 so again um, it's been such a it's been a long time right between drinks uh, since this has happened um, obviously again uh, hats off to the uh, hats off to the look hats off to the Eagles Right, to be fair with you guys, they, they definitely showed up. They played their best, I think one of their best games, to be fair with you guys. And they're pressuring Fremantle. Thankfully, though, the, the class we had, we, we could pull away um, and, and you take it. It's a win at home, right? And we haven't had a win at home in a while. And so you take those type of victories there. Um, again, though, ultimately, a lot to work on, to be fair with you guys. A lot to work on, especially entering own 50, um, inside 50, sorry. Um, Allowing the Eagles defenders as well sort of have their, have their way with us. I think it was probably the majority of the game anyway. Yeah, we <laughs> we could have done better. Like I said, nine goals, seventeen behind, seventeen behinds. It's, it's it's not good enough to be fair with you guys, and I think you guys know that. Um, one more behind, it would be exactly double, right? Um, exactly double nine. So a lot to work on though, but um. You take it. You really do. You really do. I thought the likes of Sarong, Brayshaw as well, obviously getting tagged, but still doing enough. I think he broke like a free mantle record as well today. Um, Young, I thought was superb. And Michael Frederick came into his own. Brandon Walker as well. Um, again, 
probably one of the the, the guys that sort of goes under the radar. Um, I know he's definitely a, a type of player that has fans sort of divided at times. But again, he cleaned up in the moments too, right? Cleaning up. Um, and I thought he was, he was all right. Monday, obviously. Uh, Pierce was sensational. Um, a lot of some others as well. Lifting up the boys. I thought it was good to have Soto around. Um, obviously, again, still overcoming whatever it is he has going for his health, right? But again, beautiful to see him back there. Aish, sensational. Um, I thought, uh, you know, uh, Luke Ryan was good. Um, Chapman. Uh, O'Driscoll, right? Again, it wasn't a typical for your performance, one with fluidity, but it was a grinding game, and it's come out on top against a very, to be fair, the Eagles came out there, it's, you know, they weren't shut down, they, they were ready for this, and um, they, they gave it their best, and I'm just happy we won, right? In all honesty, I really am, and yet, I, I, would, I wouldn't have cared if we won by one point, we we win. Um, and I guess just to, just to now finish this off, uh, Good win, nonetheless, but in the latter, in the scheme of things, Carlton lost to Melbourne in the last 20 seconds, heartbreak, but in saying that, if, uh, so basically, if, uh, if the, if Collingwood can beat the Swans, right, basically next week, if we beat the Giants, we're going to be fourth place no matter what, that is my understanding, so long as Collingwood beat the Swans, or if the Swans lose their last game, that's my understanding. Now, I could be wrong there, but if anyone there is sort of following, uh, I guess, the, the ladder there, especially in a very tight situation, um, let me know. But yeah, that's my understanding. But yeah, that's it. Um, good game overall. Very happy. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's not, it's, it won't be technically Barra's last home, you know, home game technically, but it is for the away season, away and home season, home and away, sorry. But it's also, yeah, you just don't know, right? Like, you never know. And and I suppose uh, it's it's a fitting farewell. But at the same time, it's not quite over yet. But, again, you don't know. But, yeah, no, it's good to beat the Eagles. I love being the Eagles. There's another team I love being more than the Eagles, apart from Fremantle, possibly. You know, obviously, you know, get there one day. But getting the flag mantle, right? That's the only other uh, win that I that I actually like better than being in the Eagles, is winning a, uh, a potential premiership. Um but yeah, anyway, I'm done rambling. It was a good game. It brought a lot of emotion to me. A lot of uh, pretty words. But I'm happy we got the job done. Anyway, thank you again for listening, for watching. Take it easy. See you guys next time. And just quickly as well, apologies for not doing the live. Um, things just happen that way. But anyway, take it easy. See you guys next time. And um, Fremantle, good work. And West Coast Eagles, don't argue. <laughs>